Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. Well, I've been getting a lot of emails on how much did my panel upgrade cost in my Mooney M20C Ranger. Um, that's the Dynon screens, the IFD 540 from Avidyne, the L3 uh, remote transponder, uh, the audio panel, the panel itself, that's a brand new panel I have in the Mooney. Uh, and everybody asks me, well, how much does it cost? What's the labor? Uh, well, there's a lot of different things you can do, but let's get back what I did. Um, so I designed the panel myself. I wanted a nice streak and clean um, panel. Uh, I don't want to have engine monitoring box over here, a uh, screen over here, a transponder over there, and so on and so forth. I just wanted a nice clean panel um, that anybody could use and simple to use. The Dynon Skyview HDX and the Avidyne 540 makes it possible. And both of those brands actually work very well together. So it's, it was really, really a good plus for me. So let's go over pricing. I know that's what everybody is getting to. The SDC certification, right off the bat, is $2,000. That's across the board. Okay, whether you buy one screen, two screens, five screens, you gotta pay $2,000. That's normal for everybody. Uh, one screen, 10 inch, costs $4,490. And I got two of those screens, so we're about $9,000 already. A uh, seven inch screen is $3,190. So for the extra $1,200 ish, I decided to go with two 10 inches. Um, why not? For the extra money, I'm already putting a lot of money into the panel, so what's the extra thousand or so dollars, right? So that's what I decided to do there, getting two 10 inch. And as you see in my videos, my previous videos, you'll see that the, the nice 10 inch screens work very well together in that Mooney. So then you go on down the list here. Um, and again, everything you can get pricing for your airplane is on Dynon.com, um, avionics.com I should say. And just go in and click the certification and I'll put that on the bottom of the, email right, or bottom of the screen right now. You click on the Dynon and it'll bring you right to their website to check out some of their stuff. So you can also get the price sheet if you're looking at it. Uh, the AHARS, that's a primary modular, and these are modulars, okay, is $1,200. The remote, the, ma the remote magnetometer for the Skyview is $140. That's times two for me. Um, and of course, you get the uh, GPS 2020 compliance receiver, that's the antenna, okay, that's standard stuff, um, $590. I just needed one of those. And the um, backup battery, uh, for that is $180. I needed two of those. The backup instrument, which you see on my left side of my, my screen, um, that little uh, the uh, D10A, that's a backup instrument. You have to have that. And that is $2,200. That also gives you your tapes, your altitude, um, your barometer, the whole nine yards, and your speed. Uh, so it's a nice backup unit to have. Um, so that's $2,200, and of course the battery for that is $130. That battery lasts about four hours, and the Skyview batteries last about 45 minutes, but you can get probably an hour out of them. Um, at that time, hopefully you found an airport to land at if you have some kind of internal electric issue. So moving down the list here, the 10-inch uh, um, shelf tray, um, that's the mount, $75. Um, it's the same price for the seven inch. The display harness, $90. And your USB port for the panel uh, amount is $45 and that's times two, I got two screens. And that is basically how you update your Skyview. You add charts to it and that's basically how you update it with a, a USB and you put in a thumb drive and it updates everything that you need to update. Um, you go to Dynon's website and you'll see all that. So basically the kit, 11140 and of course on that price you add $4,490 if you want two 10 inch screens. If you want one 10 inch screen, it's with the backup okay, instrument we just talked about, $11,140, not bad, okay? So we'll keep going down the list here. And this is ADSB, okay? So um, I, I, don't, I didn't need the, uh, the, uh, the transponder because I had an L3 and all I did was basically take the L3 out of the, the panel. I'm, I'm gonna sold that basically. And I got the L3, they gave me a good deal on a remote. That's in the tail, 
which is ties into the IFD 540 from Avidyne. And you guys seen that in videos where I hit the button twice and it brings you to the transponder and that's how I do it. Um, and the uh, dual band traffic and weather receiver for the ADS-B in, only in, okay, $795. And of course the harness is $55 and the ADSB receiver antenna $29. So I basically spend $879 for that, which you need that. So that, that brings my, just my last video, you'll see the weather um, come up on my screen, traffic, the whole nine yards is there. So you need that inform information to be received. So you kind of need the harness um, and of course the antennas. Okay, moving along, moving along here. The engine monitoring, okay? The engine monitoring um, for my airplane, $600, okay? The engine sensors, okay, is $130. Um, the fuel flow uh, monitors is $200. And of course, the oil, oil cool temperature um, and sensor is $20, okay? Um, fuel coolant fluid pressure sensor, um, $85. Oil fluid pressure sensor is $85. Uh, manifold pressure sensor is $65. And your amp uh, meter is $15. And your EGT, the wire harness for a four cylinder, is $120. Okay, um, the carb heat temperature, which is it's nice to have a carb heat temperature. So if you're flying around the cold weather, you know, or in the clouds, you know how cold or hot your, your carburetor is. So if you have to apply carb ice, you can get ahead of it right away. So it's good to have. Um, and that was $152. I'm sorry, I uh, lost my spot here. Um, that is $37 for that. And of course the CHT is uh, $152. And EGT hose clamps is $144. Um, The CHT um, clamps are uh, $76 and the EGT hose clamps are $72. Okay, so I got the, um, the mountain brackets $40 and the mounting plate is $40. So that's basically $1,881 for all that. Okay, for the engine monitoring, plus all the sensors and so on and so forth, which makes sense. Um, there's things out there, it's three, four grand for engine monitoring, so on and so forth. This is 1800. And it's, it's all dialed in to the screen. I don't have to have a separate box on the side where all my engine monitoring is. So everything is in the sky view, which makes it, again, a clean panel and makes it very easy to get to. It's right in front of you. It's not off to the side. It's not on the other side of the plane where you gotta look like this or look in the middle. It's right in front of you. And the good thing about um, having two screens, um, I can put engine monitoring on both. Um, in my last couple of videos, I've taken the engine monitoring off the right screen. But it's easy to put back on with a touch of a button. Okay, so the other thing is the, um, I do any comm radios, because I had the IFD 540 I've used and the SL30, which is a Garmin I kept. That's a nav inner radio, that little thin one on the bottom. I kept that, then when it didn't use Dynon's comm radio, which is fine. And the network cables. So network cables, you're looking at for odds and I'm not gonna go through them, it's just odds and ends for networking cables, is $315. So and it breaks it all out what they actually go to. Again, you go on Dynon's website and it's all right there in front of you. So you basically have uh, $14,714, okay, if you, for the, for the whole nine yards, okay. Now, if you want two screens, you're at 19204 with two Dynon screens, with engine monitoring, with all uh, the sensors and all the wiring, all the harnesses and the whole nine yards. This is, this is not a car where you can kind of slice things and kind of do things. What I recommend is if you're going to do something like this, just put all new wiring in the tail, uh, which that's where, that's where my um, the sensor is, and the remote transponder is, um, and just put new wiring in. Don't try to splice things and so on and so forth. It's just not worth it, because when you have an electrical issue, it, they're very, very hard to find. I mean, you have so many wires. And matter of fact, when they took out 
all my wiring, all my old wiring, you know, the plane lost overall about 40 pounds, but in wiring about 25 pounds of old wiring. And Dynon is really just plug and play once you have the system in. And the autopilot, all I'm gonna do is the servos get put in and it's a plug in the back of the unit and I have autopilot. So $19,204 for now for a Mooney M20C Ranger with I spec'd out, which I just went over, okay? Not bad, that's just for parts. Now, the good thing is with Dynon, okay, and, and, and turn, your, turn your volume up a little bit, is you don't have to go to a specific dealer to have it installed, okay? I chose to go to Moyer Aviation in Mount Pocono. It's MPO is the identifier. I helped them get that license to sell the Dynon product to be on their website, and they've gotten a lot of good feedback, a lot of good um, quotes that they put out. Uh, but you don't have to go to a dealer. If you know somebody who is an avionics guy, of course, has to be an avionics guy with aviation, and he's your friend of yours, he can do all that work for you, and you can help him um, with Dynon's help. Dynon, Dynon's team of customer service is great. They're top-notch. They'll help anybody. They're big into the experimental business for the last a long, long time. I forget exactly how, over 20 years. And then they just got into the certification business, but they took that certification, customer service 101 to the, to the certification part of aviation. And they kept that model going. They did not raise their pricing. They kept their pricing basically the same. The only thing you have to really pay for is unfortunately the STC certification of $2,000. Um, but the pricing is about the same between certification and uh, non-certification airplanes. So Dynon is, is getting in there with that and they've sold a lot of Skyviews and doing a great job and it's really, really good company to work with. So if you have a friend who's an avionics guy, you wanna help him, you can knock that labor in half or anything you wanna do and labor is gonna be next in a few seconds here. So think about that for a minute. Um, Garmin great product. Aspen, great product. They're all good products out there. And like I said to you guys before, you still have to go through the certification process. You just can't bring a item or equipment to the table and put it in your airplane, especially with certification processes. You have to go through the FAA. It's got to be approved, just like autopilots, just like anything else. Garmin has to go through the same process as Aspen, vice versa. Um, Dynon, the same kind of um, certification process, has to go through the FAA, the same thing as Garmin, Dynon, and so on and so forth, that's out there. Uh, and so, you take all that in consideration. Now, with Garmin, you have to go to a dealer to have it installed. So you have to go to a dealer to get support. Um, and it's a huge company, great company, but huge company, you have to go to a dealer. Um, and you take the Skyview compared to a Garmin, there's not much difference at all, okay? Uh, some Garmin's, you don't have to plug it in to get an update. You do it via Wi-Fi or its own Wi-Fi card you put in. Uh, I think that's $800 or plus a year. Um, and same thing with other, other, other um, companies out there. But Dynon, you have to just, once a month, you plug it in yourself for two minutes and you're done. I think I'll save my $800, right? Um, but other than that, folks, is it gives you everything you need to, to know. And if you go to my videos and watch my videos and, and you see how I'm using the Dynon screens, it's very easy and comfortable. And you, it takes you about four or five flights maybe to get comfortable to the tapes. Um, but in Dynon, they give you an option to have the six pack as well. Uh, that's all my videos you can go back. So 19,204, okay? And so that's, that's basically it, okay, with the screen. So $19,204, again, I'm gonna say it, with two 10-inch screens, engine monitoring, all of the sensors, all of the wiring, that's basically it, and it's also, don't forget the backup, okay? That's the backup, um, uh, you'll see that on my videos here on my side, a little backup instrument, that's $2,200. That includes all that, so you're done. So only thing you gotta do is figure out your panel, how you want it set up. Do you have to cut bigger holes or do you need a whole new panel? Now, with the Mooney, I can speak for the Moonies and more so the M20C Rangers. The panel is not part of the structure of the airplane, okay? So now, if you have a, some of the Cessnas, I don't know 100%, but I think some of the Cessnas, the, the panel is tied in to the airplane. It's part of the structure. You have to go to a little bit of a different level of paperwork for that. Um, so 
just talk to your mechanic, talk to you, whoever you're talking to about that. But all I know is the Mooney M20C Rangers, and most of the Moonies, I think all of them, the panel is not part of the structure. So you can pull it right out and do whatever you want to do, put it back in. You're not having any issues. You don't need any extra paperwork or approval from anybody. Okay, so keep that in the back of your head. It's not part of the structure of the Mooney. So I'm going to go over to labor, okay? And it's, it's a lot, now let me tell you, it's a lot of labor, okay? It's a lot of labor. I mean, you're taking out old instruments, you're taking out the vacuum pump, wiring, you know, all this stuff's coming out of the airplane. And wiring is tough to do. It's hard to do all that. It really is, and it's a lot of hours uh, and labor intensive to get all this stuff done, working in a small environment, right? In a, in a Mooney or any plane is really a small environment. I go to Moira Aviation, the guys are upside down, and behind panels, their legs are up in the air. It's just a show like you would think out of a movie somewhere. <laughs> so. The labor, I'm gonna tell you guys, okay, right off the bat, is $16,087. Now, that's including um, all of the labor, okay? That's including the IFD 540 installed, the, the audio panel wiring, the Dynon screens, and so on and so forth, okay? So, remove, replace Dynon engine probes, fuel flow, um, fuel pressure, etc. Okay, $910.80. Um, that's 10 hours to do that. Um, Dynon insulation, okay, the insulation of Dynon, Dynon okay, overall, $7,920, 80 hours of labor. Um, instrument panel insulation, taking the old one out, putting a new one in, measuring it, you know, getting it cut by plastic first, then getting it cut by thin metal, making sure it all fits, and then re putting it in. Uh, for the permanent time um, of putting in where, where it's actual, they're cutting real metal and installing it. So you have three different options, you have three different uh, panels really, the plastic, plastic, and the real one. And that's uh, the, the um, instrument panel installation, 25 hours, okay, $2,520.50, okay. Um, the IFD 540 installation, okay, 15 hours, Okay, and that's fifteen thousand four dollars and eighty cents. Uh, the um, audio panel, the, the PMA, the five, the four fifty insulation, fifteen hours, about fifteen point three, um, and that is one thousand five hundred fourteen seventy cents. Okay, and you're down to the L three transponder. So taking the old one out, and you had to run wires, put it in the tail, rivet it in the tail, whatever they had to do to get everything situated. Okay. Uh, that insulation for the, the, the L3 Lennox transponder remote, 15,000, I'm sorry, not 15,000, $1,504.80, and that was 15.2 hours. The cheapest thing of all is installing the two Stratus USB ports on each side of my panel. And the reason why, you know, some guys say, why do you need two? Well, I have the Johnson bar. Okay, the John Johnson bar is here. You guys look in the videos, it comes down, it comes up. And the last thing I wanted was, you know, if I had an iPad or my phone charging is run a wire from the right side all the way down and charging my iPad or my iPhone or whatever I'm charging, okay? The gear, if I, if I need to put the gear up or down, the wire's in the way, I could pull it out of the iPad, break something, whatever. Um, and vice versa on my side, if I had a passenger who wanted to charge his or her stuff. You had the wires going across the panel, down and around. If I'm going landing, don't pay attention. The wire's hanging, they're gonna pull the wire. I didn't want any of that. So that's why I have two USB charge ports in the airplane on the panel, passenger side, my side. Two hours, point one. Um, that was $207.90. So all the labor to remove, the, to remove and replace the Dynon engine probes uh, fuel flow, so on and so forth, the whole nine yards, okay? The Dynon insulation, instrument panel insulation, IFD 540 insulation, the um, audio panel, which was the PMA 450, the L3 transponder, lens, um, and, a, and a Stratus power USB ports, and of course, they didn't charge me for um, this, you know the transponder test and all that other stuff. They had to test with the, that's the other thing, folks. It was a lot to test all this stuff to make sure it works. You're, you're, you're digital now. You're not guessing on your gauge, what it, is it 2500 RPMs or is it 2490, 2470, is it 24? It gives you exact. So you really gotta make sure the engine, the RPMs, and the manifold pressure, the fuel flow is all 
100% correct, okay? So it takes, again, a lot of time to make sure that's all correct. So all the labor combined with everything, $16,087.50. The other labor part on here was my annual. I can go over that another time if you want me, you guys. Let me know in the comments. If you want me to go over my last annual, I can go over that with you. So the panel labor, $16,087.50, okay? The uh, Dynon system we talked about with the backup, okay, that, that was uh, 19,204. I know what, I forgot to add that up. So I'm gonna add that up right now in front of you guys here. So let's take the uh, 19,204, okay, and we're gonna plus the labor, okay, just the labor of the panel, 16,008. 7.50 is $35,291. Um, the panel itself to get it painted was $1,000, so it's plus $1,000 to that. Okay. Um, we're also going to add in there the um, IFD 540. The IFD 540 was, um, I'm very unprepared for this video, right? And, um, oh, it's over here, wrong side. <laughs> Very unprepared, you're probably saying, right? Why does he not have this stuff, you know, where he should have it? Okay, the, um, the L3 remote transponder was $4,400. We'll add that, $4,400 plus. So the IFD 540 um, was $13,000. We're gonna add that to the list, okay? Uh, 13919 equals so my whole panel okay from soup to nuts okay everything labor new wiring new harnesses engine probes uh, you name it okay two 10 inch screens backup um, the audio panel IFD 540 insulating all the insulation with the panel and the SL 30 the whole the whole thing cost fifty three thousand six hundred and ten dollars so you're probably telling yourself, man, that's a lot of money. It is a lot of money. I'll be the first one to tell you that. It is a lot of money. Um, but you're getting a panel that you designed, that you wanted, um, and it's done. I am done with the airplane. All I'm waiting for right now is the autopilot from Dynon. We're working out a couple of things between uh, myself in Dynon, we are partners. We have I have a partnership with Dynon, and uh, Moyer Aviation also sp helps sponsor me. So, but for fifty-three thousand dollars, folks, okay, you're getting a brand new panel, um, and it's you're all done. Now you're probably saying to yourself, "Well, what's the other stuff cost?" Well, I have to say, Garmin just imparts what I have, the screen sizes, what everything I have, the engine monitoring, the whole nine yards, you're looking at probably 80,000 plus just in parts. And in labor, of course, um, going to a dealer. So you're over $100,000 with that product. Um, you're probably saying, why don't you try Aspen? Aspen was also very expensive. Didn't have the engine monitoring um, option. So again, I didn't want to spend $18,000 on the Aspen Pro with the three screens and have engine monitoring and have this and have that. I wanted a sleek panel that's clean and it's all right there and they all work together perfectly and that's what I did. So I didn't have to have the engine monitoring here, this over here, you know, only screens on this side with the Aspen, not on that side, you know. So I think using Dynon for what I need it for worked out perfect for me. Um, and I'm sure you guys agree that these other products can get very expensive um, and, you know, Dynon treats you as a customer, not a customer number. There's a difference, okay? Like I said before, everything has to be certified, okay? So you go to the ShopRite, you're buying a ShopRite brand can of soup, like I always said this before, you know, or you're gonna look at a Campbell brand soup. Look at, this, look at both of these um, you know, cans of soup, okay? You turn it around. What does the ingredients say on the back? It's exactly the same. You're paying for a name, you're paying for a name that's been in business for a long time. Whatever you're paying for, you're paying for. Uh, 
yes, Dynon is new to the certification field, but they have proven themselves over and over again with customer service, always looking to help you, and their product is really good. And the graphics are good, the lighting is good, um, so I am very happy with that. So that's the price, folks. Um, let me know what you think. You can email me at pilotfun101 at gmail.com, or you could put comments below, okay? And you can follow me on Facebook and on Instagram if you like. More videos to come. Let me know if you want me to go over how much my annual costs. I didn't need breaks and stuff like that. Uh, so I can go over that if you like. But for right now, we went over to Dynon's um, information. Hopefully you guys got all the information you're looking for. If not, please email me. I have no problem getting back with you folks. And uh, Moira Aviation has a lot of this stuff saved so they can give you quotes um, and information pretty quickly. Um, give Kurt from Moira Aviation a call. You can go to the website, Moira Aviation, I think it's .com, and check, talk to Kurt. He'll hook you guys up. Um, and if you do mention Pilot Fund 101, um, you will get a discount off labor. Um, and that, the discounts are not in my quote. That's the quote it would everything would cost. That's not in my quote, what I just told you guys. So work on some discounts if you like. Give um, Dynon a call. Tell them you like what, I'm, what, what, you know, what I have. They'll give you um, some quotes, whatever. They, they'll help you with anything you need help with. Um, and check out their website at uh, dynonavionics.com and click on the certification. If you don't have a certification airplane, folks, just click on Dynon. And it's, it, again, the same exact kind of equipment you're looking for. But like always, folks, fly safe, be safe, and I'll see you guys next time.